Welcome to Santi Peace Format. In this video, we are discussing about the examples on the Pori series. The first example that I am taking is this square wave, which is defined as f of x is equal to minus k to k minus k in the interval minus pi to zero and k from 0 to 5 and it is the periodic function that is f of x plus 2 pi is equal to f of x. The question is to calculate the Fourier series for this function. Let us try to see what is the graph of this function. You can see if this is your 0 this will be your pi and this is minus pi. Here it is 2 pi, 3 pi and so on. In the interval minus pi to 0, it has minus k value. So if I fix this is the minus k value, then the graph in the interval this is this, and then in the interval 0 to pi, if this is k, then this will be this. And it is the periodic function, so that's why the graph of this function will be extend like this and it is nothing but the it is known as the square wave that you can see so what is actually we are doing we are calculating what is the approximation of this square wave and as for the theory the approximation of the square wave is the Fourier series that is f of x is k0 by 2 summation n running from 1 to infinity an cos nx plus bn sin nx where we need to calculate what is a0, what is an, what is bn. From we are calculating that is the quantity one by one. So cost one a0 by definition it is 1 upon pi minus pi to pi f of x dx. As your function is split into two parts, the integration is also split into two parts. So it is minus pi to 0 f of x dx plus 0 to pi f of x dx. And in the minus pi to 0 the function is minus k and in the interval 0 to pi the function is k. If you integrate this quantities, we will have minus kx in the interval minus pi to 0 and this will be kx in the interval 0 to pi. So to substitute these values here, so we will have it is, it will be minus k pi plus k pi. And because we put 0 here, 0 and then 3 times minus will come, so it is minus k pi plus here k pi is left. So finally, we will your a0 is 0. Let us calculate an that is 1 upon pi minus pi to pi f of x cos nx dx. As for the definition minus pi to 0, f of x in the interval minus pi to 0 is minus k cos nx dx plus 0 to pi k cos nx dx. This is 1 upon pi. You take the integration of this quantity. It is minus k sin nx upon n square. Derivative, sorry, integration of sin cos is sin nx. It is minus k into sin nx upon n plus k into sin nx upon n. The limit is 0 to pi here and then here the limit will be minus pi to 0. So finally you will have 1 upon pi when you put 0 sin 0 is 0 and sin n pi is also 0. That's why we have 0 here. Here is also we have 0 so that's why an is also 0. The next one is bn is 1 upon pi minus pi to pi f of x sin
sine and x dx is there. That's why it is minus 1 upon 5. In the interval minus 5 to 0, the function is minus k sin and x plus 0 to 5. The function is k sin and x, k into sin and x. So that's why it is 1 upon 5. To take the integration, this is minus k cos nx upon n plus k cos nx upon n. But it is minus, so this will become minus and this will become this will become plus and this will become minus and here you will have the limit which is minus pi to 0 here you will have a limit which is 0 to pi so this is 1 upon pi when you put 0 limit that is k upon n and when you put minus pi then will be minus k cos n pi upon n minus when you put pi here this will k cos n pi upon n if you put 0 here then it will be minus so that will be minus minus plus k upon n and you just know that the cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n so this will be you can write down as 1 upon pi you can just see that this k by n is 2 times and this is also 2 times and k by n is common out. So I just common out k by n from this. Inside you will have it is 2 is also common. Minus 1 raised to n is there because cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n. Which is of minus n plus 1. This is minus plus 1. So finally if I rewrite this is 2k upon pi n. 1 minus minus 1 is to n. This is your bn. So finally your Fourier series of this function f of x is we can write down as a0 is 0, an is 0. You can write down this is as 0 to infinity, 1 to infinity, 2k pi n, 1 minus minus 1 is to n into sine nx. Now let us see how this Fourier series is approximating this square wave into the with the help of Mathematica. So as we have seen in the Fourier series of Fourier series of the function f of x is equal to minus 1 1 if it is between minus pi to 0 and it is 0 to pi. So we have here I have plotted that function instead of here I have just taken it as 1. So here this is the square function that we have here and this is the first approximation that is the partial sum. If you can see the series, the first term is S1. If I can say it is a 4k by pi sin and x. So it is the graph of sin and x. Sin x is there. So this graph is of sin x or I can say 4 by 5, k is equal to 1, so it is 4 by 5 sin x is there, this is the graph, and if I increase this value of, if I increase this value, let's say I am just taking the n equal to 3 now, if I taking this n equal to 3 now, that means I am just using the third partial sum, second partial sum is the summation of the second two terms which we can have in the Fourier series is 4 by pi sin mx plus 1 by 3 sin 3x and here are, this is S3 this graph is of S3 which we have taken the next term is 1 by 5 sin 5x so where which I have added here and if we can Adding those terms, that is the next term is 5 by 7, 1 by 7 sin 7x. Seven and if you add them, then you just see that the graph will be approximating, the graph will be approximating this curve and that you can see by this value. Just I am increasing this now values of 
the parcel sum that is in general we have the series that we have written is summation n running from 1 to infinity 2 pi upon n pi 1 minus minus 1 is 12 this was the series into sin n x is there so here up to third summation or sum we have concluded and we have plotted that and if we increase that value now that is if I increase this value of this term if I increasing then you just see that this sum is become and this sum will converge to the function that we have concluded the function is here it is minus 1 and 1 which is defined between this 2 and 0 is in between this so and if I just try to see this increase this number of partial sum in this term then you just see that it is after the so this is the graph when the this instead of infinity it is actually 50 so it is the s50 i have plotted here and it is converging to that one so that is the work of this Fourier series display in the way one that's it for this video if you like this video please press the like button if you have any questions suggestions and please drop down in the comment box below